Hello, brothers and sisters. 2020 has been rough on all the world, our two nations, and certainly the IBEW. We've all been affected by this pandemic in one way or another, and far too many of us have lost family members, loved ones, or friends. To all of you, I offer my sincere sympathies, my thoughts, and my prayers. You're not alone. We're living in one of those areas where the very best of our union is something that's not found on a paycheck. It's our brotherhood, our collective spirit that runs through our veins and fills us with togetherness and allows us to rise up to any challenge. I have witnessed and been made aware of countless examples of locals across North America extending helping hands to those in need. And when I say a helping hand, I'm talking about quickly building what are essentially mass units for medical care providers. I'm talking about restoring our electrical grid when hurricanes and fires add to the misery in many areas, as if the pandemic wasn't enough. I'm talking about our members, many of whom have seen their own hours cut, yet are still working to round up supplies for area food banks and charity organizations. And the stories go on and on. This pandemic will pass and there will be brighter days ahead, hopefully sooner rather than later. But in the meantime, for Thanksgiving Day, I want you all to know how proud I am and how thankful I am to call each and every one of you my IBEW brothers and sisters. This is something no one can take away. Let's all make sure we remember that over the holiday. And brothers and sisters, please stay safe this Thanksgiving by following all the CDC control guidelines. Please keep your gatherings small, limit your travel, and share only memories and not germs. On behalf of myself, my wife Dawn, and all the families of the International Office, have a happy and safe Thanksgiving Day. We wish you nothing but the very best. That's all for now. Thanks for the click. And remember, every hour counts. See you again soon.